Hello and welcome, my name is Jay Gunning and I am from the Purple Drumstick. I make drum covers on YouTube, the link is right there. And I am here to tell you um, how I record my drums. But first, I will talk about how I used to record my drums. In my old videos, I used this Behringer C1U USB microphone. And I used to put it down there. And it used to go with a USB cable into my MacBook. And it came with free recording software. And that was how I used to record my drums. But now I bought this Samson 5 kit microphone pack. It contains a Q snare, snare drum mic, um, a Q bass mic for in the bass, and three Q tom microphones for the toms. But one of my Q toms broke, so now I have this one microphone for two floor toms. And all these mics go in with these cables into my mixing board. This is a Behringer Xenix 1832FX mixing board. And they go in right here. And then I use the mono output to my MacBook with just a standard cable. There's also the option to buy um, overhead mics which will be right here above your kit and they will capture the sound of your cymbals um, they are pretty expensive I am saving money right now to buy them um, if you have the money I would say buy them but the, the sound is pretty good without the overhead so once you have your mixing board connected to your MacBook you want to open up GarageBand let that load now create a new project um, just pick piano and create first you want to delete this grand piano so you're gonna go track delete track then you want to make a new track a real instrument and click on instrument setup uh, my instrument is connected with the built-in input and I want to hear the sound from the built-in output um, don't check this blo this one and create here you have your new track and as you can see it works because I'm talking into the microphone that I usually use for my thumbs um, next I always drag a song from my iTunes that I am going to play so if I'm going to play It's Complicated by A Day To Remember I drag it into there and there you have it so now I always just record on this and you can hear the the song on your uh, headphones and when I'm done recording so when there's a track right here let's just record here we go again and then you record the whole song while while you're drumming and then on this track I always do drums thickened drums for the effect and then I go to edit and the visual EQ I press this picture and you can set the EQ and normally I give it a little bit more bass and a little bit more mids and that's how I record my drums I hope you like this little tutorial if you have any questions just place a comment below